Hello mechanics, and welcome to our darker purpose. Now, following the theme I'm doing here with dungeon crawling games in the meantime, trying to work my way up to bigger games and bigger things, I picked up this game. I remember playing it a while back, and I absolutely love the concepts behind it. It's very dark, kind of disturbing game, as you can tell by the, you know, the junk in the background, the fact that, you know, there's one gate for this entire school that's apparently 600 stories tall. And now, we're just going to exit the options and start a new game. Now, <clears throat> the walking, the waking floors. Elderly Mr. L trusted three of his students most. Reagan was pretty and all did as she told for they sought her favor. Goneril was strong and all did as she told for they feared her power. The third, Cordy, was so shy that no one had ever heard her say a word. One day before Cord Cordy's ninth birthday, Mr. L was summoned to the administrator's office. He left the three in control of the room. The charismatic children ran to Reagan, the athletic to Goneril, and the remainder drifted to Cordy. Reagan's followers had cackled as they joked and danced. Goneril's grunted as they sparred, and the quiet ones huddled closer to the corner. Mr. L never came back. Cordy saw Goneril and Reagan signal each other, and then all the beautiful and powerful children attacked the quiet ones. The bookcases were pulled down, the desk tossed about, and all the quiet children killed. The victors poured out into the hallways delighted, for the teachers had vanished, and the school was theirs. Except, hidden beneath the fallen bookcase, Cordy was alive, and she had discovered how to speak. Well, love that, and here we see it adds in a little bit. What an odd story. It ends quickly and badly, I'm sure, which is basically telling you you're going to die. So here we go. You move with WASD, space to roll. You can roll, just like in Enter the Gungeon, and then roll makes you faster. Roll is also how you dodge. Apparently she's a pyromancer. I don't know why she's a pyromancer. C gives you your stats and all your items and stuff like that. You know, tab to uh, move your map around. Here we have basic students. Notice they'll throw tacks and blow bubbles at you. This is how they killed all the other students. You ever been killed by a chalk bubble? Yeah, I didn't think you have. And you just gotta kill you. Nice. Kill you. Wait, you take four hits. Uh, whoa. Hey, buddy. Three, four. Two, three. Why are the desks alive? Somebody learned necromancy? Why are the roasted rat- Who? How long was this chick asleep? She must have been like fucking cryostasis or something. They like devolved into cooking rats over books. I think that's a boss room. Because it's like all red frame door and stuff. So I'm not gonna- Can't read a textbook. What? What? You know, like someone stored uh, a textbook in your compartment and you ate it. That would go against what? everything I stand for. Why are the desks talking to each other? Okay, once. I'm pretty sure I put in some sort of voiceover there, but... What? Okay. Here we have the uh, trash can kids. And what, who are, what is your name? Allison the Pointed, huh? Well, I guess I have to gun you down. The fact that you keep dodging and throwing ice spikes at me is not the... Are you done yet, ma'am? Oh, I win! Level up! Choose the books to read. Now, I guess this is how you level up. You get, like, abilities here. So you can, I can uh, take the things the monsters carried, which is a play on the things they carried, which is a Vietnam War book, basically. It spoke about, you know, the emotional weight, the physical weight of objects, things like that. I did a book project on it, basically. I'm just telling you, hey, this happens. And now, uh, extra damage. Enemies drop juice boxes, which are their little health up kits, and chalk, which is like a magic thing. Alright. And then the other... 
whenever we pick up a token, the importance of finding tokens, I don't know what the hell this means, what the book there is based on it. It gives us extra life and a little bit of health whenever we pick up a token. I'm going to go for the damage. And then F to pick up fear flavored packets. Juice boxes now deal damage to <laughs> fear flavored juice boxes. Now these guys, oh. Dude, you hurt. Full on juice boxes, huh? Oh, I actually have a lot of health. Whoa, I have a hundred health? Dude, I'm never gonna die. I'm never gonna die at all. Oh yeah, you can't hurt these. Uh, the chalkboards can spit fire. F. F. Open it. F it. Apple experiment. On use destroys all projectiles. As Mia M discovered, gravity may only be... Ugh, can I read that? Juice boxes restore 20 health, so that's good. Let's see, can I read that? Perks, lessons, items. Can I read the apple, please? I want to read that. Son of a bitch. Basically, uh, the school operates bizarrely. Gravity is dependent on floor, apparently. Some floors will be a lot heavier than other floors. and This school is basically one giant drug trip, is what I'm trying to get at. Here we have the Edgewood Meritus tokens. These random little bits of... Oh, boy. Oh, right. oh God, I rolled right through the spiky bit. See, rolling doesn't help you dodge damage. It doesn't, like, enter the gungeon where you're immune while you're rolling. It actually just uh, prevents you taking damage. God, son of a fuck. Ha, ha, ha. What? You're a vending machine, but you're a spider. Uh, Shy Stella's diary gives you lifesteal. We are pleased to announce that the diary will be reprinted and distributed as punishment. Great. Trick or sweet. Chests occasionally come with bonus juice. That's cool. Sip my drink there. The weeping plant. Dodging or resisting attacks deals damage to all enemies. Oh. That seems really good, actually. What is a tooltip on that? Plants do not weep at Edgewood. Plants are happy to be at Edgewood, just like everyone else. <laughs> uh, great. I'm glad to be here. What about you? I'm not at all. This place is like, this place is nightmarish, and I thought bullet hell was a bad thing. The fuck are you? Frothy the dragon, huh? Hey ho, hey. I guess I just have to hurt you. You see, what do you do? You, you send fire that chases me. And then you just... That's it? This boss is way easier than anything in Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> this ain't even a threat. Like, what? Oh, he sent three ground fires. I even got a fucking achievement for that. Defeat Frosty the Dragon without taking damage. I got a B. That's great, I guess. What What am I doing? I don't understand. I really don't. Uh, well, that's good enough for a first episode. Try to tune in tomorrow, and I will continue playing this game. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on or why those objects in the background are talking i'm liking this game as always leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want more of this crazy shit and uh i'll see you on the next episode peace out <laughs>